Turkey is largest warship, the multipurpose amphibious assault ship Anadolu, is set to be delivered to the Naval Forces Command on Monday, marking a significant milestone for the country's defense industry, the head of the top defense body said Thursday. TCG Anadolu is an amphibious assault ship of the Turkish Navy that can be configured as a V-STOL aircraft carrier. It is the largest ship of the Turkish Navy with a length of 231 meters, a width of 32 meters, and a displacement of 27,436 tons. It will also serve as an aircraft carrier for the unmanned fighter jet Kizilelma and the brand new Bayraktar TB3. TCG Anadolu will be inaugurated today in Istanbul. This is after completing sea trials and being delivered by the end of 2022. Anadolu, meanwhile, is a landing helicopter dock, LHD, type amphibious assault ship that was modeled on the Spanish LHD Juan Carlos. The Turkish LHD will be able to host a battalion-sized force along with flight and command personnel. Although its flight deck is not long enough for classic warplanes to land and take off, the Anadolu has six spots where medium-load transport, assault, or general-purpose helicopters can land and take off, along with two other spots that provide a landing platform for heavy cargo transport helicopters. The Anadolu can carry many light and heavy armored vehicles, including wheeled and tracked ones. It can carry up to 30 wheeled vehicles on its lightweight deck, including armored amphibious vehicles and armored personnel carriers. The vessel's hangar enables at least 12 medium-load helicopters to be transported. At the same time, the number can be increased with additional helicopters carried on the light vehicle deck, depending on the vessel's mission. The heavy vehicle deck at the top of the carrier's pool provides the transportation of heavy and tracked vehicles, such as tanks, along with other heavy armored vehicles. The Anadolu provides the transportation of up to nearly 45 tanks, again, depending on how the vehicles are positioned on it and the vessel's mission ranking from amphibious war to power transfer, along with the non-military tasks such as humanitarian aid, search and rescue, medical assistance or natural disaster support in a variety of areas. The launch pad constructed on the Anadolu's deck provides a vertical landing for aircraft, such as Lockheed Martin Stavel, short takeoff slash vertical landing, F-35BS. However, this proved to be a deadlock issue between the U.S. and Turkey Air, as it was announced previously by then U.S. President Donald Trump that Turkey Air was expelled from the joint F-35 program over disputes between Washington and Ankara. Yet, the flagship to be vessel will allow the landing and taking off of unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, specifically designed for the Turkish defense industry, marking a global first. The Bayraktar TB3 developed by Turkish drone magnate Baykar into Anadolu is expected to be completed this year. The Anadolu will be able to carry an estimated 30 to 50 TB3S thanks to their relatively compact size. The Bayraktar TB-3 is the short runway capable version of Baykar's world-renowned drone Bayraktar TB-2. The TB-3 will be displayed and make its first public appearance on the sidelines of this year's edition of Turkey's largest aviation, space, and technology festival, Technofest, scheduled to begin in late April.